and be with the one that you're serving. That's Amen. Right. Right. God said, I'll let you meet the evil one now. If you want to meet him, I'll let you meet him. Amen. Isn't that sad that these people can stand up on national TV and talk like that? And the Bible says in Genesis, it says that a man and a woman to be fruitful and multiply. It did not say a two men or two women adopting a child. There's nowhere in the scriptures, Brother Frankie, that you'll find that. Amen. It ain't in there. Amen. That's old Satan is going to hold of people and making them think it's all right. People says that God is love and he won't send nobody to hell for doing that. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. If you want to believe that lie, I got a few more I can tell you. Yeah, bless him, Lord. Can I get an amen? There's not but one. Let me tell you something. There's not but one thing that Christians need to worry about. It's what this King James Version says. Amen. And from Genesis to Revelation, you better get in it and begin to read it. And if God says it's wrong, it's wrong. That's amen. what we better be reading. Amen? And not worrying about what man says. You amen. know something? I heard a person tell me the other day that one of the TV hosts said the Bible was outdated. Amen. Many ways to get to the Lord because the Bible is outdated. Well, I've got news for you. Uh, my Bible says He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Amen. And He says what? I wrote this for you. You know something? It's a Sunday school lesson we begin to talk. You know, back then, uh, they never had the Holy Scriptures. Amen. But you look now. Look what we got. God. This Bible was inspired by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for me and you, for our learning, for our growing, for our yes, teaching. Yes. That's the reason we got this book. We oh. have no excuse when we face That's it. Right. He said, That's I gave right. you the book, Brother Randy. You had a choice to eat on it, and you choose not. You choose the way of the world. And the book of John said, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. But men love darkness rather than light. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Men love darkness rather than light. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the light come into the world. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I like what the sister says. Sometimes all I want to do is complain to the Lord. Yeah. I don't know about you all, but I'm like her. I do a lot of it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know something? When we back up and look at it, like she said, I need to thank Him for all that I have. Yes. That's it. Don't need to be complaining. That's it. I need to Help. say thank you for what I got. That's right. Amen. Amen. The Bible says here, it says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in with one accord in one place. That's it. Amen. That's it. See, that's what our Christians, we need to do. We all need to come in court in one place. That's it. And that's we need it. to start sitting down and writing our Congress and government or go on the email and write him and say, I don't believe in this that's and it. I'm done oh. with it. You want to sign a bill, come election time, we're going to get together and vote you out, brother. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. We're not putting up with it. There's one thing where you can tell us we're not going to go along with that. And let me tell you something. There's a lot of lost people out here that ain't going along with it either. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you something. Thank Do you know something? You all look when everybody talked about old Phil Roberts and Doug Dynasty, when he stood what the Bible said, they were lost people and says he has a right to his own opinion. Praise God. Yes. That's right. Yes. I love that. They said, that man can speak what's on his mind if he's right. Amen. We got so many now speaks what's on their mind, they ain't right. That's it. Yeah. And they're right, they ain't right more in one way than one, too. Right. They're not right because we get the scripture and you list them, they're not right, period. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But the Bible goes on and says, here, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as the rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Praise God. You know, every morning that I ever Sunday or any service when I come through this church, I want God to give this church a dose of the Holy Ghost. I want it to come through that door like a mighty rushing wind. I want people to get excited. I want people to testify about God and the blessings they put upon them. I want to hear about about how wonderful God oh, is. I'm oh. telling you one thing. I wish the Holy Ghost would get a hold of everybody and lift them off their seat. Amen. That's, That's it, what real other Christians need. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. I believe some of you, I ain't saying you all, but I'm saying some Christian get a dose of the Holy Ghost and scare them to death. <laughs> I believe it scare them so bad they never come back. If God would bring one of them out of the seat, Brother Frankie, and they run from one out of the other, they never show back up. Be scared to death of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, thank you, 
Amen. I'm telling you one thing. You heard me say it over and over. To me, they ain't nothing like a dose of the Holy Ghost. I tell you one thing. Those people on TV, that's what they need is a dose of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That Holy Ghost will make a different person out of you. Amen. And the Bible said here what? And they said, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and they were filled in the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them cloven tongues as a fire, and they set up on each of them. It rested up on them. Boy, I'm telling you one thing. It was bringing them to life. That's yes. it. Amen. It was bringing them to life, man. It was, come on now. I'm telling you one thing. And it said here, and he goes, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues, and the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. I tell you one thing, I get excited about that. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. Now, don't go run out here and say the pastor said they spoke in tongues. I'm going to go a little farther here. That ain't what this means. Amen. Amen. They were all filled. They were excited. They began to praise God. Amen. They began to shout and praise His holy name. Amen. And the Bible said here, and they were dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews and devout men, which mean pronoun men, up and up, so to speak, and every nation under heaven. And when they were a noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because every man heard them speak in their own language. Yeah. Did you hear what I said right there? It said they heard them. What it means, they were Greeks, they were Persian, they were Gentiles, they were everybody there. And when the Holy Ghost filled, when everybody began to stand up and praise God, He gave them the ability to listen and could understand the other language. It don't mean there that He spoke in tongues or went off. That's what He said. Everybody, if you had Germans and you had Americans and all, God gave them the ability right then to understand them praising God. Yes, thank you. Amen. That's what that means. Yes. Amen. They understood each other. Yes. Amen. And he said here, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these speak Galilean? And how hear you ever man his own language? What did I say? Wherein we were born. They heard in their birth language. Yes. Amen. Man, can you imagine five or six different nationalities and everybody understanding each other? You'd have to shout. The Holy Ghost would have to fill the room. There ain't no way you could stand it. The Holy Ghost would have to give utterance to that. Yes, amen. Isn't that wonderful? I thank the Lord for that. Yes. See, I, that's what I like. You know what the Bible said? The Holy Ghost, listen to me, Jesus said, I must go back. Uh, did he not? Yes. And he said, because if I don't go, I can't send you the what? And the comforter is what? The Holy Ghost. He said, I can't. i got to send the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. And he will what? Teach you all things, the Bible says. The comforter will teach you all things. He will show you everything. Open up your ears and listen to the Holy Ghost. He'll dwell in your heart. He'll give you the understanding of the Scriptures. Yes. It's what God's telling us. He will give us the Holy Ghost. And it says here, and what? And he said the, uh, uh, the pavings, the Medes, the, the Amalites, they were dwelling in, in Macedonia and Judah and Caternia and Pontus and Asia. And he says, and Philippi, and, and, and he said, Pamera and Egypt and all the parts of Libya about Syria and the strangers of Rome, the Jews and proselytes, the Greek and the Arabs, we do all hear them speak in their own tongues. The wonderful works yeah. of who? Of God. Yeah. Amen. See, God was blessing everybody. God was getting excited. Yeah. It was from God the way the Holy Ghost come upon them. It was all from God. Yeah. How many of you this morning can say, I am so glad uh, that the Spirit comes from God. Yeah. I am so glad that I'm where I'm at today with God. I am so glad that the Holy Ghost dwells in my soul. I am so glad I get excited excited uh, when I hear God's word. I am so glad, Brother Brandon, that I can shout. Uh, I am so glad I can stand up and tell people how wonderful God is. I am so glad I can testify of His wonderful name. Amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. How many of you can say that? Yeah. Can you stand up and say, when somebody asks me about Him, I can yeah. say, let me tell you about my Savior. Amen. Amen. And you can feel yourself starting to swell up uh, like you're almost hungry. Amen. And you can say, let me tell you what he's done for me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let me tell you how wonderful he is. Yeah. Let me tell you how he's blessed me. Uh, let me yeah. tell you what he's going to do for me tomorrow. I, can, I couldn't explain what he's done for me for 59 years. But boy, I'm going to look forward to tomorrow because it's going to be better than it was today. Yeah. That's it. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. See, every morning I get up, I think, what's coming next? There you go. Oh, I'm telling you, I told him in Sunday school, Brother Randy, we were out on the track. We had a slide, a bad slide. And a boy made the biggest mistake of his life, Frankie. He was getting ready to go home. He said, Brother Brown, can I ask you something? I said, lay it on me. Uh -oh. He said, can I ask you about Scripture? I said, okay. That old boy asked one question. It was 20-some minutes before he got to go home. <laughs> then the next buddy was with him. They got out of the truck. He said, what are we having? Somebody said prayer meeting. He took his oh. heart head off. He said, you want me to pass the plate? I said, pour it to it, brother. Because <laughs> I'm here and I get done. The old boy looked over to the other one. He said, there's one thing about him. They said, what? He said, if you say anything, he said, he's just... <laughs> 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 oh, no, no. I told him, don't, 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 don't ask me anything about the Lord. If you don't want me to tell you about him, don't ask me. Because I'll tell you one thing. I can stop work to tell you how wonderful my Savior is. Amen. Somebody said, don't you worry about what they're going to do for me. I ain't got 36 days. Amen. If they say you need to shut up or go, Frankie, I said, I've been waiting on that invitation anyway. I want people to know about this man. Yes, amen. That's my job. I want everybody to know That's right. how wonderful my Savior yes. is. I want the lost people to know, okay, see, you're dying and going to a devil's hell, Frank, is what I want yes. them to know. And I, let me tell you about yes. this man, Jesus. Yes. Let me tell you how you cannot go to this awful place. Yes. Let me tell you how wonderful the walk is with yes. him. You want to know why that I smile? It's because of him. Amen. He's the one that come right. and chose me and died for me. I want I want you to know how wonderful he is. Amen. 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 I want you to know that my father owns everything. <laughs> yes. I want you to know that he watches me. Yes. I want you to know the angels are kept out about them that fear him and love him. Yes. I want That's people right. to know that. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I say, I ain't got nothing to worry about. What do you mean? Amen. I love it. He said a loved one knew he'd reached the end of life's journey That's right. and he was prepared yeah. to go to heaven anyway but as I knelt beside his bed my heart was thrilled yeah. at what he said he said if I go or if I stay the victory's yes. mine yes. he said I'm a winner either way Amen. Yeah. Here I go, or if I stay, yeah. praise God, for I'll still have my yeah. Jesus yeah. each passing praise day. God. I'll have my healing yeah. here I go. Amen, yeah. brother. Yeah. Or I forever, yeah. if I go, oh, praise yeah. the Lord, I'm a winner yeah. either way. Amen. Yeah. See, it don't make no difference, Casey. And Frank, if we go, we stay. We're a winner either way, brother. I can still have my Jesus That's either it. way. Amen. Amen. I got him here, or I'm going to get him on the other side too. Yes. Amen. In that wonderful praise his holy name. Yes. I'm a winner either way. If I don't make you shatter, your shatter's dry is all I can tell you. <laughs> I'm telling you, you need to do like the little man. Put a little water on your wreath. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Put a little water there and let's get excited. And the Bible says here, and they were all, listen to me, and they were all amazed and were one down, saying one to another, what means this? Others mock, saying, these men are full of new wine. <laughs> and you know what he said? But Peter, standing up with eleven, lifted up his voice and said to them, You men of Judah, you are you that dwell in Jerusalem. Be this know unto you. They hearken to my words. For these are not dr drunken, as you suppose, seeing it's right. but the third hour of the day. Yeah. But this is that which is spoken by the prophet, prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last That's days. Come on. God said, I will pour out my spirit yeah. upon the flesh, right. upon the sons and your daughters, yeah. and shall prophesy, and young men shall see vision, and old men shall dream dreams. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? You, it's coming. Amen. I love it. Amen. Aren't you wonderful? Yeah. Praise His holy name. I got one more and I'm going to close. Listen Thank to me you. here. I love this over here in John chapter 15. Listen to me. John chapter 15. I'm going to close. Yeah, listen. God said, I am the true vine. Yes. That's it. And He said, and my father is a husband man. 
Every branch in me that beareth not fruit is taken away. Yeah. And every branch that beareth fruit is purged. And you may bring forth more fruit. God said you, 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 you is saved. You're purged. You're clean. Bring yes. forth new, new fruit. Yeah. Amen. And here's what he says. Abide in me and I in you. You hear what I'm saying? Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abides in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. Yes. Amen. Yes. God says you can't do nothing if you ain't abiding in me. Amen. I'm the one that's going to lead you. I'm the one that's going to guide you. I'm yes. the one that's going to walk with you. And without me, you're not capable of doing none of it. Yes. But you yes. abide in me and let me show you what I got for you. Amen. I'll yes. show you the life. You ever notice one thing? When old tree begins to grow, as the branches spread out, the water and everything goes that way. Yeah. It's like the bloodline. Jesus said, let me have a hold of you. I'll put the new new spirit in you yes. and that new bloodline, and you'll grow and be able to testify yes. about me. Yes. Amen. Amen. He said, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I am him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Amen. You know what that means right there? You look it up. It's what, he, what he's saying is, with, apart from me, yeah, is what that means. That's it. In the old text, apart from me, that's right. You can do nothing. That's right. God said, when you get away from me, you can do nothing. That's, that's it. But as long as you stay in my will, thank you, Lord. You can do it all. Help us. Father. Amen. He says here, if a man abide in me and he casts forth as a branch and is withered, and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall shall be done unto you. Right. You know what my commentary says? Remain attached to. Yeah. Remain attached to the yeah, Lord. Lord. Yes. Isn't that Lord wonderful? Jesus, People, I'm telling you something. You all that here this morning that's saved, yes. you ought to have a smile that you couldn't slap off your face. <laughs> <laughs> to know that you're a child of the King. That's it. Yes. Knowing how God's blessed you. No one thinking about where you're going if you leave here today. Yeah. Think about where you're I going. Guess. If this is the last day that God gives you on this earth, think about Thank where you're going to you. awake. Yes. Amen. It may be a little scary. We don't know nothing about death. But think about where you're going to awake if you leave here today. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you don't know the Lord that I'm talking about, I feel for you. Yes. Amen. You need to be like that little man. Yes. You need to come and say, Lord, I need you. Yes. Because I have no desire yeah. to go to that devil's hell. Amen. Yeah. I want to be with yeah. you in paradise. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In paradise. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 You listen to me. You know, I don't know nobody's heart. I say this every Sunday. I don't know nobody's heart. But I do know one thing. And if you don't know the man I'm talking about, you need him. Amen. Amen. If you say, Brother Brown, I, I, you know, I've heard people look at me before, and they say, I think I'm good enough to go to heaven. I've heard them tell me that, Randy. They say, I think I'm good enough to go to heaven. Well, you know, when I hear that, I'll say, well, you ain't going. <laughs> what do you mean? There ain't none of us in here good enough to go to heaven. That's it. Amen. We're going to make it by heaven by the grace of God. That's it. Because if you think you're good enough, you don't fool yourself. That's it. Because it wasn't but one perfect lamb without spot or blemish. And like my wife said early, by faith, I'm standing on the promises of God. By faith, from Genesis to Revelation, God said, this is what I got to do. And by faith and by His grace, He said, what? Salvation's a gift to God. That's it. At least any man should boast. It's That's not in it. works. It's a gift of God. He freely gives it to you. He said, all you got to do is serve me. That's it. Amen. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? All of Ken Wills bow your heads this morning. And always say this. Can you say, Brother Brown, I love it. Say, Brother Brown, pray for me. Have the church pray for me, and I'll get closer to the Lord. That's it. Amen for those Amen. hands. Praise Amen. God for those hands. Amen. Amen. Say, I just want to know more of you. Yes. Amen. You know this altar is always open. If you want to come and pray, we'll pray with you. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. We'll pray with you. Amen. Oh, say, Lord, you know, you know, I tell our body Christians, we ought to just be smiling from ear to ear, knowing where we're going. Amen.
You know the world has no hope. That's right. You know, if you don't know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that I'm talking about, and you don't have Him in your heart, see, you have no hope in the world. You're just a pilgrim and stranger. You know, the Bible talks about Christians being a pilgrim and stranger passing through. But you know something? If you don't know the Lord, I, I like what Noel Lawson said. If you don't know the Savior I'm talking about, I think your walk has just been in vain. I just think your walk through this earth has been in vain. Because when you die, that's all of it. You're going to meet that old deceiver. But you know, if you know my Savior, look where you're going. Can you imagine? Human mind cannot imagine how wonderful that's going to be. That's right. Amen. Scriptures and all, I love that because you know something. 
when you begin to talk about the Lord, amen, and the Holy Ghost begins to get a hold of you, oh, boy, man. you can stand up and be bold for the Lord, can't you? That's it. Amen. I'm going to be speaking this morning out of Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I am so glad today that I'm a child of the King. I am so glad that God come into my life. I am so glad that the Holy Ghost dwells in my soul. I am so glad that I'm not of this world. I'm in it, but I'm not a part of it. Amen. My name is written on the Amen. other side. I am so glad of that. And yeah. Brother Frankie, when those people get on TV and begin to act like fools, I, I can say thank you, Lord, that I'm not part of that. Amen. I'm telling you one thing. I can say thank you, Lord, that they're standing up there talking and they don't understand oh, what even they're saying. Amen. You know, yeah. people that talk like that are foolish people. Amen. To go against what God's Word said, you're a foolish person. Amen. Let me tell you something. You can be standing on a stage uh, and you can be talking all that junk uh, and God can take you out of this world that fast. Amen. Yes, God can say good. You want to make fun of me? You want to make light of me? I'll let you go on home and be with the one that you're serving. That's Amen. Right. Right. God said, I'll let you meet uh, the evil one now. If you want to meet him, I'll let you meet him. Amen. Isn't that yes. sad? Uh, that these right. people can stand up on national TV and talk like that. And the Bible says in Genesis, uh, it says that a man and a woman to be fruitful and multiply. It did not say uh, two men or two women adopting a child. There's nowhere in the scriptures Brother Frankie that you'll find that. Amen. It ain't in there. Amen. That's old Satan uh, has got a hold of people and making them think it's alright. People says that God is love and he won't send nobody to hell for doing that. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. If you want to believe that lie, i got a few more I can tell you. Yeah, bless him, Lord. Can I get an amen? There's not but one. Let me tell you something. There's not but one thing that Christians need to worry about. It's what this King James Version says. Amen. And from Genesis to Revelation, you better get in it and begin to read it. And if God says it's wrong, it's wrong. That's amen. what we better be reading. Amen. And not worrying about what man says. You amen. know something? I heard a person tell me the other day that one of the TV hosts said the Bible was outdated. Amen. Many ways to get to the Lord because the Bible is outdated. Well, I've got news for you. Uh, my Bible says He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Amen. And He says what? I wrote this for you. You know something? It's a Sunday school lesson we begin to talk. You know, back then, uh, they never had the Holy Scriptures. Amen. But you look now. Look what we got. God. This Bible was inspired by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for me and you, for our learning, for our growing, for our yes, teaching. Yes. That's the reason we got this book. We oh. have no excuse uh, when we face That's it. Right. He said, That's I gave right. you the book, Brother Randy. You had a choice to eat on it, and you choose not. You choose the way of the world. And the book of John said, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. The Word was with God. But men love darkness rather than light. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Men love darkness rather than light. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And the light come into the world. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I like what the sister says. Sometimes.